Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to try to answer a question that I was asked by a 3DS Max user. This individual was trying out Maya with the trial version and wanted to create a border around an object. In 3DS Studio, he would simply use the inset feature to, to create that. In Maya, the closest thing to my knowledge to the inset feature in 3DS Studio is changing the offset value after you extrude a face or several faces to create the border. I don't think there's anything in Maya, at least to my knowledge, that works as good as the inset feature in 3DS Studio, but I'm going to show you uh, how I do it, and I'm going to show you some problems that I ran into and some solutions that I came up with. Alright, so let's get started. I've got a cube here. I'm just going to select the top face, and we'll create our border. So I'm going to make sure I'm in my polygon menu set, go to the edit mesh menu, make sure this keep faces together is turned on. And then I'm going to make sure, I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to make sure it's, I'm using the default settings. So edit, reset settings, everything's default. Extrude, over my channel box you'll see under the input nodes my poly extrude phase 2, which is the extrude I just did. I'm going to scroll down until I see the offset value, which right now it's on zero. I can click and type on that zero to change the value or for this tutorial I'm just going to simply click on the word offset and middle mouse drag left and right in my view panel to change that value in real time. So you can see we can create our border using the offset value of our extruded face. This is the platform, uh, at least one of the images that the 3ds Max user was uh, creating an inset with, creating a border around this object. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select all the faces on top. Alright, so we got all the top faces selected. I don't think I've got anything else selected. Just kind of double check and make sure. Alright. Just so I don't have to re-select these faces uh, several different times, I'm going to go ahead and go up to my Create menu. I'm going to go down to Sets, over to Quick Select Set. Let's type in Top Faces. So now, if I deselect those faces anytime I want to, I can go up to now. Usually when I use my Quick Sets, if it's going to be faces, I'll go ahead and select to my Face Select mode. Then I'll go up to Edit, Quick Select Sets, Top Faces. Now I've got all those faces uh, set. So it's just a quick way of selecting um, what I had. All right, um, let's go ahead and do an extrude. Edit Mesh, Extrude, like before. Let's look for the offset value, and let's change it to create our border. So as you can see, we've got the first issue we have is it's not a uniform border like it's see right there where it kind of pinches in and then again it goes out and then it pinches back in again and then right there we don't even it's like overlapping it's like no border so uh, some obvious issues there the other issue we have is not only that but it's pulling our faces you see how it's pulling in and now that face is underneath our platform that's the top face now it's below the bottom face I don't think there was this issue with the inset feature in 3DS Studio, at least not in any of the uh, videos that I've seen where it was used. All right, final solution I came up with is this. I'm going to make one difference, one change. When you extrude a circular object, it's better to have all your edges going in a pie shape because right here we've got a really sharp angle and this right here we have an open angle. So I would either want to go in and just delete all these faces Whoops. since it's a flat surface or if it wasn't a flat surface I would definitely want to come in here and start making this a pie shape so that all my edges flowed better so that the the angles were the same on both sides if that makes sense but the easiest way is just delete the edges alright but I'm just going to go and leave everything else the way it is select all our top faces again but let me switch to my, what well, doesn't matter, edit, face, where's our sets, quick select sets, top faces, 
I'm gonna right click, go back to uh, face select mode. All right, so I'll top faces, edit mesh, keep face together. We're gonna turn that off. And now we're gonna do the same thing: extrude, look for our offset, and then create our border. All right, that looks like a pretty good size border. Now, if you look everywhere around it, it's the same size. That border is the same all the way around all the way around. The only bad part is we got to do a bunch of tweaking. Now again in 3ds Max I think you could do this and there wouldn't be any tweaking afterwards. It just works really nice. In Maya, unless someone knows a better way to do this, this is the best method that I personally have come up uh, with my using of Maya. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and follow the, ed, the border and just close up the edges. Let me kind of show you what I mean. I'm using my split polygon tool. So like I'm gonna bring this over. So now our border kind of turns that corner. So I'm just gonna go around the whole model and I'm just gonna do that on the whole model. And I'm just gonna speed the video up for this part and then I'll uh, slow it back down once I get close to finishing this. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the edges I don't need, and then I'll, I'll speed this up, and then we'll slow it back down once uh, I get it finished. Alright, I think that's all the top border faces. Alright, let's do an extrude, edit mesh, extrude, just going to pull all that up. So there we have walls, we created a border, and now all the walls on this whole thing are all the same uh, thickness. Again, it takes some time to do all the uh, all the tweaking afterwards, the cleanup, but at least it gives us good results and all our surfaces are flat.
and that's the way I do it. Now I don't know if newer versions of Maya, maybe the offset uh, feature works a lot better uh, as far as the extrude goes. Maybe it works a lot better where it doesn't start pulling in faces and making everything on planner. Um, I'm not sure. I've got Maya 2009. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.